Hi, Rupert. It's Karen next who's going to ask a question. OK. All right. Um, thank you, Neil. Hello, Karen. I know that you're not putting your camera on, but um, hello and welcome. And, and I know that you just want to say something briefly, and I think Neil's going to read out your question. So um, please. Yeah. please. Uh, hi, Karen. <laughs> hi, Rupert. Yes, thank you so much for taking my question. And um, I am grateful to Neil for helping out with this. Thank you, Neil. Hi, Rupert. Unfortunately, I'm too ill to interact much in the webinar. But meantime, I'd appreciate your thoughts on what I'd writ I've written. I've been practicing the meditations for quite some time. I am dealing with severe chronic illness with pain and suffering that often feels torturous. There is a, an intense conflict in my body which seems to be the resistance of the separate self as it is trying to maintain control and doesn't seem to be letting up. After so long, you'd think a body couldn't sustain such a condition, let alone the protracted suffering and would give up, but apparently I'm still alive. My question is about how to be with this experience especially when the sensations are torturous and despair seems to consume my consciousness. There are thoughts and feelings of fear, even worse, horrific suffering that would result from the situation continuing and my helplessness to remedy the situation. And in the moment, sensations of physical pain and distress that can't be alleviated. Mostly I try to allow the experience and do various meditations to know that everything that arises is the same stuff as awareness. This is easier when the sensations are not intense, but they usually are. And then it is difficult to welcome fear and pain. Of course, there's the underlying motivation to fix the problem, and I continue taking the appropriate practical measures for healing, but the separate self can't fix this. But, it, it, but isn't it only natural to feel that kind of urgency? Maybe that urgency is just another experience to bathe in awareness. I would like to know, though, if you have a suggestion for a particular approach to this kind of unbearable experience that cannot be endured. Or more accurately, it is being endured at such a high intensity for some reason, the only response, it seems to be a radical shift in consciousness. Gratefully, Karen. Karen, thank you for your, thank you for your email. Now, the first, first thing to say is that I think a couple of times in your email, you said or implied that your desire to, to be free of pain and suffering and to remedy the situation was, um, was an egoic or uh, it was an egoic endeavor or or that the separate self was trying to fix this problem. So that's, that's the first thing to say is that you, you shouldn't think that your desire to be free of pain is an egoic desire. It's not. It's not a desire that comes from the separate self. It's a desire that is um, inherent in the body to, to, to be free of pain. It's not, a, it's not a desire that comes from ignorance. Don't, don't chastise yourself over wanting to be free of physical pain or discomfort. It's natural. You should want to be free of physical pain and to do everything to free yourself, as you obviously are. So that's the, the first thing I noticed in your email, some judgment of yourself at, at having this desire to be free of pain. And the, that's the first thing. And the second thing is that, and you really answered, 
come to this conclusion yourself. You referred to this unbearable pain. But in fact, as you rightly said, in fact, the pain, just the very fact that you are experiencing it um, implies that it, it is already being born. It, be, you are already bearing it. It has already been accepted by awareness. If it had not been accepted by awareness, you, you would not be experiencing it. So really, although sometimes in, in, the, in the teaching we, we hear phrases such as uh, welcome the totality of your experience or welcome your sensations, the, the, these, these statements are entirely valid. But they're made as a response to, in response to, to one who is resisting them. They are not, uh, awareness has already accepted the sensation. So awareness does not need any instruction. Awareness does not have to practice welcoming anything. It is its nature. A welcoming is, or allowing is what it is, not what it does. So that's the second thing I would say. Don't try to practice welcoming. Because this will conflict with your natural impulse to resist or reject the intense, the intensely painful sensation. And this will set up a, a conflict in you. You really want to get rid of the, the pain because it is natural to do so. And yet you're trying to superimpose onto that resistance this practice of welcoming or allowing. So I would relieve yourself of that conflict. Just allow your resistance of the pain to be as it is and, and see that at the level of the body that resistance is natural and awareness doesn't have to practice welcoming. It's, it is already welcomed, it is already allowed, it is already being born by awareness. The third thing I would say in reference to your last phrase, that some radical shift, I think you said, you thought a radical shift in consciousness was necessary. No, a, a radical shift is not necessary, Karen. It, it's just, a, if anything, it's a, a very small shift. And it's a shift that I know that you are already making or you have already made. It is the, the shift from feeling I am this cluster of thoughts, images, feelings, sensations and so on to, to I am this open, empty, loving presence of awareness. It's not a radical shift. It's a tiny shift. It's the shift from I am King Lear to I am John Smith. And I know that you have already made that shift, although sometimes the pain, the intensity of your pain seems to pull you away or pull you out of that understanding of yourself. So I would just encourage you to go back to yourself, abide in yourself as yourself, as the presence of awareness, as much as is possible. And not to chastise yourself for wanting to get rid of or for resisting your pain. It's completely natural. You just go back to your being as often as you, as you can. Remain there. Remain as that. But don't fight with your resistance to the pain. Don't try to oppose your resistance with a welcoming practice. Don't pra in other words, don't practice welcoming, just be the allowing presence of awareness. Wonderful. Thank you, Rupert. My heart goes out to you, Karen. I wish you the very best. Thank you so much. <laughs>